In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a USB-C adapter to send your iPad screen to any HDMI monitor and be able to plug in other USB devices at the same time. Let's go. Now this method unfortunately only applies to iPads with a USB-C connection and does require an adapter like this one here from Atola that can actually adapt your USB-C to USB-A as well as an HDMI connection here. If you're using a lightning based iPad, there is a lightning to HDMI connector, but unfortunately you can't use other USB devices. It takes over the whole lightning port and it won't let you plug in audio interfaces or any other device. However, if you have an iPad Pro Air 4th generation or the 2021 Mini, you can actually use an audio interface at the same time simply by plugging it in. So I've got my Steinberg UR22C. I'm going to simply plug that in to the USB port here on the adapter. The Steinberg is going to come to life and then it's going to send the audio input and output from this device while at the same time letting me send the video to the HDMI monitor. There you go. The lights are on. Everyone's home. We're connected. So now if we jump in here, we'll be able to see this by going to our microphone icon here. And you can see that we've got the ability for channel one and two. So we could input those and our output is going to come out of this, either the headphone jack or the audio output. So that means that we can use our large screen display here and you can use any HDMI output, any display that supports HDMI can come out of here. So whether you've got a huge TV or just a computer monitor, it's a cool way of getting your display out while at the same time using USB audio here for your projects. And if you need even more USB devices, say you want a MIDI keyboard or a mouse and a keyboard to plug in, you can use a USB powered hub. And there's a video about how to connect this up with this down in the description so you can set up your own mobile studio.